Hello, I'm going to merge creating assets for the World of Webcraft's new asset vault and video tutorials into one process. So what that means is as I create specific assets for the repository, I will record and explain the workflow on video and apply them to this channel in their own special playlist as video tutorials. Then once the asset is created, I will deposit it into the asset vault at the World of Webcraft. This first asset that I want to share is a page layout type that people constantly ask me how to make. This first layout I'm calling fixed in place header and footer layout. So it's fixed in place header and footer layout. And believe it or not, this is one of the most requested layout types that I get. So after coding it, I'm going to show you how to validate it according to HTML5 specifications. Now let's take a look at exactly what it is. And I think a lot of social networks use this type of header and footer. So you can see as I move the content on the page, as I scroll the content with my mouse or if I use the bar and I scroll the content, the top div stays fixed in place. And no matter whether I resize the window or not, and there's also a bottom div that I added to this tutorial as well because a lot of people ask me how to stick a div to the very bottom of the window, no matter how big the window is. So you can see as I scroll the data, the page data is scrollable, but the top div and the bottom div stay fixed in place. And actually YouTube uses a fixed bottom div like this for their little playlists. All right, let's open up our code editor and let's create this from scratch. Okay, we're going to start with the bare bones of a new HTML5 document. So first in the body tag, let's open up a new div element. Let's make sure we close that div element as well. Let's give ourselves a little bit of space here in the body tag. Now this div, I'm going to give an ID of, let's just call it top div, keep things simple. And inside of that element, I'll just write top div content. I'm going to highlight that div, and I'm going to create another one just like it. A couple of lines under it, and I'll name this one bottom div. So it has an ID of bottom div. So now in between those two divs, I'm going to give myself a little bit of space, and I'm going to type in an H2 element. This will give me a heading 2 type tag. And I'll just type in a random heading. And then directly under that, I'm going to open up a paragraph tag and close that off. And then I'm going to type content placeholder dot dot dot. I'm going to copy that many, many times. Now I'm doing this just to give people who are going to grab this asset and look at it and evaluate the code a really good uh, length of scrollable material scrollable content that way they can see that their header and their uh, their top div and their bottom div are staying stuck in place I'm just gonna copy those and put a whole bunch more right under that and another stack of those right there so it's just a bunch of a big stack of paragraph tags just to give some vertical scrollable length to the page now right underneath the meta tag for the character encoding of the document We'll open up a new style element. We'll make sure we set its type to text CSS. Then we'll go down a couple of lines and close that style element. Now if I was to render this code to the browser right now without applying any CSS, we can see what we'll get. We'll have a top div and everything will just be like normal scrollable content. Your top div and your bottom div will just blend in with all of the other content. So now the trick is to apply some CSS just to stick those two divs in place. Now the first thing I want to do is change the body element of the page to have a background color. So I can just go background, color, and make it whatever color I want. I'll just make it that color, keep things simple and quick. And I also want this page to have margin settings. So I'll type in margin, and the top margin of the page I want it to be 44 pixels. The right margin I want to be 0 pixels. The bottom margin I want to be 0 pixels, and the left margin as well zero pixels. You can set those margins however you need. And we're setting the margin top to 44 pixels. That way the content, this uh, first heading, will be pushed down underneath your fixed in place top div. When we fix it into place, your content might get lost underneath it if you don't push it down. So that's why we have margin top 44 pixels. Now the next thing I want to do in the CSS is target the div with an ID of top div. Open a curly brace and put in the closing curly brace. Hey, you still awake? We're almost done. 
All right, now let's give our top div element here some CSS properties. So the first one is position. Position is going to be fixed. Then we want to set the top to zero pixels. And we want left set to zero pixels. That way our div is fixed in position and it's tucked up into the top left corner of the page. We want to make sure it has a width of 100%. That way it spans all the way across the browser window. And we want a color, uh, whatever color you want to choose. I'm going to choose this dark color right there. Actually, that's going to be the text color. So let me give it a light text like that. We'll give it a background that's dark. Background color that is dark like that. And the last thing I'll do is give it padding. That way the text isn't all squished up into the top corner. Eight pixels should be okay. Press Control S and save your document and view it in your favorite browser you'll see that you now have a div on top that is fixed in place. Now, you see the one on the bottom is not fixed in place yet, and it has no styling. So, let's just take this, copy it, press Control C, then go down, press Control V, make this say bottom div. Now, you want to keep this saying position fixed, change top to bottom, leave left just like it is, width, leave it just like it is, and leave everything else just like it is. I think that's all groovy. So let's press F12 or you, whatever the way you render it in the browser, you can go ahead and do that. And you'll see that you have your fixed top div and your fixed bottom div. Now, let's make sure we view it in some other different browsers because you know there's a big problem sometimes when you make a CSS layout. It doesn't work the same in Internet Explorer. So let's check it out right now. Yeah, all right. So we got Chrome, Internet Explorer. We're fine. Let's check Firefox. Okay, Firefox looks great too. Now all we have to do is make sure it validates under the HTML5 specifications since this is an HTML5 web document. Okay, I FTP'd my index.html file that I was testing on up to my live web server online. That way I can easily validate it online. So I'm going to navigate to the URL where it is. You can see we have our working fixed in place header and footer or top div and bottom div. We gotta make sure actually in the code that this one says bottom div content. Okay now, but you can just Google HTML validator and you'll get the link to the W3C markup validation service. Now you grab the URL to your page online that you've been working on and you just type it in right there and you check. Okay, I have one error. Element head is missing a required instance of the child element title. So that's easy to fix. Let's go into the head right here. Let's put in the title. Opening tag and the closing tag for the title. And just call it fixed header and footer layout. Now I'm going to reapply this to the web. Re-FTP it. Okay, now go over here and you click your revalidate button at the markup service. Now you can see we've passed. Yay! Joy! And if you're missing anything or you have something that's not to HTML5 specification, the validator is going to let you know and it'll let you know exactly what you need to fix. So there's one asset ready to go for the world of webcraft Bolt. Now like I said, this is one of the most requested type of layouts that I get for some reason. I guess because social networks use that type of header a lot and this type of footer. Alright, we'll see you in the next lesson. Goodbye.